Good morning, space engineers. Wellington 6012 here, and welcome back to Escaping the Desert on a very nice morning. Yes. Uh, so, had a good night's sleep and ready to get into building a space elevator. So, it's been leading up to this. Let's get into it and do some stuff. Mash some keys. Try that one and that one. Yes, there we go. Right. Uh, okay, so we'll head down and. Yeah, so it's all been leading up to this point, and uh, where's the behemoth? I left it right there. Um, it's gone. Um, what could have possibly happened to it? Hmm, I mean I parked it up last night before I went to bed. And now it's not there. Uh huh, okay. Um, I guess that kind of goes some way towards solving the potential PCU issue. Uh yeah, okay. Well if anybody knows what happened to it, do let me know. Um that's hmm, that's gonna require some investigation, I do believe. Uh might need to call the local authorities. There's been some shenanigans going on there, I think. Because, yeah, I left that there last night. And I haven't done anything with it. Hmm. Okay, let's get on with today. And we'll we'll let Future Wellington well worry about that. Uh, okay, so uh, here we are. Up here at where we're going to put the foundation in. And, yeah, right, let's get started. So, first of all, we're going to need to put a conveyor in. So let's go with a different colour just to start with. So we'll go with these blocks here, I think. That is most puzzling. Hmm. And uh, is this. Yeah, that's probably where I want it. We'll just come out into the middle a little bit. Okay, so that's, that's good. And. That, like that, like that, and then up like. Oh, let's just get this right, shall we? It's going to be pretty important. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so the PCU on those is a 10. Is there any difference to, say, those? No, convey junctions is fine. I thought conveyor junctions had more PCU than that, but anyway. Uh, okay, so that's that's good. Sorters have more. Yeah. Uh, right. So yeah, we can use we can use these blocks. I think it'd be wise to use those. Okay. Uh, let's just change color. And uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'll have that one like that. And I'm gonna put that in like that, and I think I think that's gonna be my sort of standard footprint. Obviously taller. <laughs> Look, one block. We're halfway there. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then what I'll do is, yeah, I've got my jetpack, but I might actually use the pickle. I'll use the pickle because we want to go up probably, uh, probably a hundred meters or you know a reasonable height to start with. Um, yeah, let's do that. I think down we go. Uh, it's all naked without the behemoth up there. It's just always been there. Hmm. I need to check the security cameras. Find out what happened. Okay, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's got a uh, grinder on it. We'll sort you out. Put a welder on. Cool. Okay, that's good. Uh, right, so let's. Okay, first of all, let's just put the welder on. Welder. Uh, okay, don't know which... 
Don't know which one it is. Um, let's check out. We can do stuff. Uh, I guess we just go with some steel to start with. Hopefully that's not too heavy. Evo. Okay, maybe that might be a little bit too heavy. <laughs> Future night, 2000 is too heavy. It'll do for now. We'll just keep going. Ooh, okay, maybe we won't. Up, 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 up. We had that on. Okay, so go. Uh, what is it? Control G. Yes. Look at the view, and we'll go with. to that. Uh, what if we do B? Local grid aligned? It's not working! Hmm. Okay. Um... Annoying. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I think we might have damaged something there. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's just fix you. Okay. I think we better get some steel out of there. <laughs> it's, it's all gone wrong. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's quickly do this. We'll just have to use some um, uh, hydrogen tanks, I think. Got got a full one on board, don't I, here? Okay, let's go up. I guess I could do a projector. Oh, we'll just do it manually from now, it's fine. Oops. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> uh, gosh. So I'm just going to start this off sort of manually, as you can tell. Get up to a reasonable height. And then I will have to make a projection. So I could probably slice this off, actually. Yeah, that could work. Um, and then figure out how I'm going to do how I'm going to do stuff okay let's just go into there and yeah that's a bit annoying that's not working but we'll try and get rid of some of the stuff out of here So I know just by having like three wide is going to um yeah I'm just wondering actually should I have it wider than this because then potentially I could have a wheel on the inside nah it'll be fine it'll be fine we'll go with this So I don't regret it. Let's get that on one. Yeah, maybe we can just sneak it. 
No, I didn't want to get that one, but I won't. Never mind. Right. Well, um, yeah. I'll, uh, I think I'll park this pickle back up. And, because it is not got heaps of charge. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll have to fix it. Yeah, let's just go over here and fix it using these welders. Uh, and actually, just, just while we're in here, something that I want to show you, because I have talked about it a little bit. That's gentle, gentle. So it's definitely not there. No, it's gone. Hmm. Okay. use this to fix my little bit of a whoopsie so uh, somebody somebody may have been doing some recording and loaded a fresh world of Pertum uh, this dent that I thought was a result of a result of an explosion is actually not a result of an explosion so on a on an untouched map it's there so it's uh it's a naturally occurring formation um yeah so just in case you're wondering because i know i've mentioned it several times right so gentle gentle let's not blow up the landing gears again okay and lock right Okay, so that's that's that. Um, let's just fly up because I'm not zigzagging up those stairs again. So yeah, I'll have to finish this off. Um, yeah, so I'll go. Yeah, as I say, I'll go up a reasonable height. Hmm, I'm just wondering actually. You know what? I'm going to make it a block wider. So I'll get rid of that one and put it there. And I'll get rid of that one and put it there. Alright, let me do that. And yeah, let me go up a reasonable height. And uh, yeah, we'll um, see when we see you. Might have to put a cargo container on. Mm. Yep, so I'm just going to hand do this first. But uh, enough for, I reckon, quite a few pistons. I'm thinking maybe three or four pointed down and then however many to point back up yeah all right leave this with me Okay, so that's uh, that's that in place. I've put in just this little bit of stuff here for a kind of foundation type thingy. Ooh, uh, yeah, so I think that looks quite cool. Uh, let's head up. So this isn't necessarily as high as the first one needs to be. Uh, well, sorry, it's as high as the first one needs to be, but it's not necessarily as high as they're going to be. So that's, that's the template that I've made there. And that's 100 blocks. So, yeah, I just left it there because I might need to change it um i did that in creative mode so just yeah pasted the whole thing and yeah i'll delete it when i'm done uh right so that's okay so that's that now we need to put some blocks in am i out of creative mode yes i am 
so let's go in and grab a connector first of all. Like that. So this is what's on the projection. And then we need a actually we need to just throw that stuff out of there, I think. And I need a new O2 bottle. Uh O H2 bottle. That's good. Uh right, so we need we're gonna need a couple of those. So that's one. Very good. And that's Two. Uh, we could probably make that a different colour actually because it's the movable bit. Oh, but maybe not that colour. Put some dust on it. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, we should probably name that just so we can see it in the thing. So the idea is, is that when the rig goes up and goes past these, when it's disconnected and it's sort of going past, it will actually grind these down. Um, so probably what we want is, I was going to put in a conveyor, but I think actually a cargo container might be a, specifically this one, because it's not a cargo container on the template, it's a conveyor junction. So let's do that. So we'll just pop that in. Okay, so that's good. Uh... Yeah, it's not connected, so we won't <laughs> we won't delete this one just yet. Uh, we need a hinge part, so that can go in like that. Because this is kind of what I learnt in the uh, in the iron tunnel, is that I need to have a small grid. Uh, well, just not quite touching with a connector in order for this to merge in order for this to merge so that's fine uh attach a small head and this is, uh, this is going to be called se se for space elevator uh yeah that's probably fine actually so that's cool if we if we do that then I'm thinking, she just had a brainwave. Let's first of all get that going around the right way. Around like that. Okay. We'll turn the braking up, put the hinge lock on. And we will take that off of there and take it off of there because we don't need it. Uh, yeah, my brainwave was if we got a small grid, one of those, put that on, like so. Then one, okay, let's just try. I don't think it's going to work, but I'll just try that. I think it needs to be another block. Oh, no, that works fine. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll stick with that. Uh, and then I can put my timers on top. And just because I don't want them to feel left out, I'm going to use the old flavor. So I'm going to put six of those in. And we'll call this timer SE Spear. Do that for all of them. Okay, okay, so that's good. That's real good. Okay, so they're all named, are they? Yes, they are. Okay, so if we lock you, uh, lock, okay, and this is going to be. You see, yep, you see he's fine. Space elevator. Uh, we can get rid of you now, because that's connected, and because we've got the new subgrid thing. Oh, that's just so awesome. Oh, is that going to fall off? No, that's connected to there and there. We will be fine, I'm sure. 
Okay, so put them in there, just like yellow. Okay, that's good. That's real good. Uh, right, so that's that's that. So now we can get stuff out of there, which is good. Uh, I need to attach a piston. Oh, I'll tell you what I want to put on. Um, I want to put a beacon on. Or do I want to put an antenna? Maybe an antenna. Because... Then, if this isn't connected, I could tap into it. So, I think antenna. Um, I don't need a remote control, do I, to get in there? No, I don't. I don't think I do. Um, okay, so that's that's good that's good okay so that that's yeah okay that works right piston time um let's just get rid of you and i'll just grab some of these and what i'm gonna want to do is go out one and then down i'll go down that many and across and so on so I want the piston to go this way because I don't I just sometimes have them turning into um, into stations and I did consider whether this I actually had as a ship rather than a station which yeah no but it was a thought and we'll just have to play it by ear Okay, uh, let's extend you out a little bit. Just try and save some hydrogen there. So we'll just extend you out. That should suffice for now. And I'll just grab some parts for a couple of merge blocks. Just so I can merge it. I oh, know I could use the well pad, but I'm not going to. So we'll put you there and you on. Oh, on, on, on. Come on. Oh, I hit it. I hate it. Uh, why are you not attaching? Oh, you are attaching. Well, what was up with that? Okay, so that's cool. We'll turn you off just to be on the safe side. We will lower that right down to four. We'll do for now. Extend it. I wonder if I get one of these. Go into this camera. Oh, it's, it, it is really just so good having the um, uh, spectator cam available in survival mode. I like it. Still don't know how to drive it, but that's fine. I mean, I could. The thing is, you could get it through the entity list, you know. So it's not as though you were necessarily cheating. Um, go into there, go F9, and then we can alter this. Right. Maximum distance. Dink, 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 dink. I'll do. Ah, oh, see, I just... Mm, that's annoying. Because I right-click to try and get out of it. Okay. And if we lock you, uh, turn you on, I mean. Yes, there we go, we're all locked. So that should be, ooh, should be connected to that. Well, one way to find out. Oh. Okay, we're right here. That's good. Oh, well, still there. <laughs> okay, let's extend this out to... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, see what I mean? You are a station. Bet. Yep. Okay, well, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Chuck you back in there. Okay, so that's that's good. So I'm thinking three of those down. So grab some more parts. One, two... And two heads. 
There we go. Okay, and like that. Hmm. You know what? It's going to be a headache, but I think that I should actually have all these going the same way. And that way the ones that come up here, is that what I want to do? No, that's not what I wanted to do. No, doesn't matter. Scrub that. Scrub that. Okay. So we're going to have to call this, we're going to have to name these, because we're going to have to do some tricky things going in the other directions. Okay, so that's good. We can extend you out and do the same with you. Okay, we'll just have to name these. So you're going to be piston SE down number one. And that'll be piston EC down number two. Uh, we can do bolt sensor inertia things later. C down number three. Because, yeah, they're all extended, so that's that's fine. That's what I was, I was getting a bit confused. Okay, so that's that's going well. Okay, so now I need to put on a whole lot more that come up. And then that's going to be the distance that we'll do in a single push. I mean, oh, I'm just now wondering. Do I go up another one? Uh, down another one so I can go up. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine pistons going up there hmm nine which will be 90 100 meters 100 meters at a time that's probably gonna be enough and that's kind of what I was envisioning envisioning uh, was about 100 meters a push yeah okay right so that's that's cool so what i'm thinking is uh that i'm probably going to do this as like a bit of a two-parter um so I'll, I'll i'll put these pistons on and then i might actually call it there because i i'm gonna have to um, sneak away for a couple of days so I'm going to have to leave the game for a couple of days so I think that's probably what I'm going to do I'll put on more pistons which will come they can actually come around around this side and then they can come up here yeah that'll work okay let me do that and we'll put the projector on we'll line up the projection and yeah we'll just see see how things go yeah I think that will do. Yep. Uh, yeah, just let me... Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll lay this stuff out and then I'll get the old welder out off camera. Oh, well, not off camera, but I'll just skip it. Uh, so we'll go with... One, two, three of those. And I'll just grab a whole lot of steel. So we come down here... want to be able to see it okay one of those one of those one of those and then the piston can go up there oh, why did you turn around up there eh, eh. up there up there, up there, up 
there. I mean, I could just about put a welder on these as well, now I think about it. We could go one more, because I don't think it's going to matter if I overshoot. Uh, so this will be the reset position, yeah, and I'm actually thinking that, oh, well maybe I'll just keep going. <laughs> um, I'm actually thinking that I'm going to extend this up here like that. Because then I'm going to put some, uh, yeah, going to put, so they'll probably be like welders. So I'll put a junction in there, because then the welders will probably like, there'll be one on here maybe. And one on there. And then Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll have landing gears on there and on there and I'll wrap them around so they should should slide up. It's an idea so they don't fall off. Mm, it's all very theoretical. Okay, let me weld all this up and we'll see where we're at. I could just about put a welder on here somewhere. Hmm, let's do that, shall we? See if that works. Here I am keep saying that I'm fuel. Ooh, fuel. Keep saying that I'm going away, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. Fuel critical. Uh, hydrogen. Need another bottle. Okay. So if we did that, turn it on. Okay, and then we went piston. Those ones there. And we did them at minus 0 0.15. And then this might actually weld up a whole lot of these as we go past. Hmm, that'll be good. Right, uh, yeah, so what I'll do is, uh, I think I might just go away and do the edit actually. Up until this point. And yeah, I think, I think that I feel like doing a two part rather than trying to scram, yeah, scram it. Cram it into one. But we'll just see, I'll just see how it goes because I think I've already used a bit of time, but I just feel like that's going to be the way to do it. So, uh, yeah, you might you might see me come back with the uh, with my sign out. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so edit's all done. And, yeah, pretty happy with how the episode's gone. Uh, I'm just going to, as I say, leave... Uh, leave it at this point and come back into it at this point so I won't do anything off camera we'll just continue on where we left off because I think I've been been building up to doing the space elevator that we kind of need to need to see it through its full process but I'm pretty happy just looking at the edit actually that I think I'm on the right track I think I might have said some things wrong <laughs> some reference some distances and blocks and stuff but uh, yeah so the plan is that it'll push up landing gears it'll lock onto the landing gear oh we need to put a battery on it don't even forget a battery uh yeah and then it can once the landing gears are locked it can pull itself up to the next set of connectors so i think this is going to be the easiest way to do it i think it'll be pretty pretty bulletproof uh well probably not bulletproof but pretty pretty much it'll 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 do what i want it to do cool um so yes that's where i'm going to leave it i'll come back into it in a couple of days time which you will see in a few days time because, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a long, well, not a long episode today, but um, certain aspects of this episode have taken me about three or four days to do. So, yeah, as he looks at the big open space out there. Uh, yes, so uh, hopefully you can join me again next time when we'll continue with all this and event controllers and timers and stuff. Uh, yeah, and until next time, as always, stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good one.